What's going on everyone, Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks, back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we are looking at moving into the future, and based on that, what we think Apple stock could do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all the videos that I make, and comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me hit record, we will get right into it. Apple has another red day. We are down at $3.50 on the day, about $5 in the red. Comparing that to the NASDAQ, NASDAQ was slightly green. Um, one thing to note though is that if we take a look at just the one day chart, it was a little bit of start up and then right back down. You know, pretty much the same thing with Dow, which was up 281 points. Um, and then the S&P 500 as well, right? Up and then right back down, but still up for the day. So compared to that, you know, Apple was a little bit on the weak side, um, but it's something that we had expected, right? We had kind of discussed in my previous videos that, hey, Apple, although we are expecting it to have great earnings, um, and it did, right? We're talking $108 billion in revenue. We're talking growth in iPhone, growth in iMac, growth in services, growth in other products and AirPods and all that, right? We, we, were, we were expecting that but we got crazy beats on everything, I think, but the Mac, where we missed it by 0.01. If you want more details, feel free to check out yesterday's video. I cover it in extensive detail. But we still fell, right? You take a look at the after hours. I don't know what this $400 transaction is, right? We closed the day near the 142s and pretty much in the after hours, if you take a look here, right? Kept falling, falling, falling all the way to the 137s. We fell four or five bucks, which is kind of where we are now, right? So we fell even more to open uh, today, and then we rose to 142s, and then we'll take a look at how we traded, right? But I just wanna kind of share with you guys that this whole sell the news thing was something that we were talking about for a while, and the kind of consensus was, look, they can have the best quarter ever, right? If that's already priced into the stock price, it's gonna, it's gonna sell off, it's gonna fall because of how much it went up in the past couple of days leading up to earnings, right? So always something to keep in mind is it's not necessarily the fact that Apple had a great quarter that's gonna push it up, it's what people were expecting versus what actually came out of it, right? So in Apple's case, people were ex expecting a monster quarter, we got a monster quarter, we got earnings beat, but nothing really that surprised anyone, so we saw a little bit of a sell-off in the after hours, um, which you know it wasn't really able to recover too much from. Good news about today though is that the levels that we have on the chart were absolutely phenomenal. If you were someone who day trades, if you were someone who were who's looking to pick up a small amount of shares here and there, our levels were pretty on point. So hopefully you guys were able to take advantage of that. But let's start with this pre-out pre-market, right? So it's pushing up, went all the way to 142. Again, this level's been here for a while, you guys. It's been at 141.92. Pretty much rejected, fell, right? Then we're looking at this level. Couldn't quite make it at the beginning of the day. Fell to our 138 level, dipped a little bit below it. Went up to our 140 level, came down to 138 level, went to 140, couldn't break 140. Went right back down to our level. And you see how it can, kind of just keeps whipsawing between these two levels, right? So, you know, that is something that we, if you had these on your chart, right, you were kind of looking forward to as well. Again, 140s rejected, went down to 138s. 138.49 is the bounce. We're at 138.43. We're talking about a six cent difference. Um, then we pushed up. We're able to break through this level to 141.99. Again, seven cents more than our level there. Off six cents there, off seven cents there. Then we came right back down, right? And we were bouncing against this level. Bounce, 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 bounce. Finally broke through 139, tried to push up, VWAP rejection. Bounce, couldn't really hold that. Try to push right back up if you see, right? And then reject it again, heading towards this 136 level. As you see, we got a bounce and pushed up. I don't know what this fill is. Someone got a really bad fill at 146 or really good fill if you were the seller. So all that to say, you know, not a crazy amount of, you know, good news for the stock, relative weakness, but our levels held up really nicely, which is something that I'm excited about and excited to share with you guys. Again, the sell the news was real. Um, we knew it was coming and it came. So not, you know, crazy worried about that. The key now is how far do we fall before we start to turn things around? Now, 
we are he right here between two levels as you see in the after hours right we did bounce at the 136 level so let's cover what happens if we push up and if we push down if we push up first level is this 138s that we were hitting against today if we can break that 140 next and then 141 and then that sets us up for a push towards this 144 145 which is close to the all-time high right so again, if we see a little bit of a green day, 138, 140, 141, 92, sets itself for 144, 145. If we keep falling though, um, we've got this level of support right here, which we just bounced from in the after hours. Then right after that, we've got this 21 EMA in the 133.95. And then we've got, you know, a couple levels here, 133.45, 132.58, 131.31. And that level right now is also the 34 EMA, right? So first level, we've got this 136 that we just bounced from in the in the pre-market, in the after hour, excuse me. And then we've got the 21 EMA at the one high 133s. We've got another level in the mid to low 133s and then mid 132s. And then worst come to worst, hopefully we see a bounce up the 34 EMA and 131, right? Again, the market right now is really weird. Another thing to kind of keep in your mind is a lot of short covering might be happening soon with uh, GameStop, AMC, all names that I'm sure you guys are hearing about everywhere pretty much. So if that happens, right, again, not saying this is gonna happen, we could see some firms taking money from kind of their, their big positions, which might be in companies like Apple, Tesla, and all these companies that we um, you know look at on a daily basis. And maybe they need to use some of that money to cover shorts. Again, not saying that that's going to happen, but just something to keep in mind in case it does. That could lead to a little bit of a weakness. Um, but other than that, hopefully, you know, we, we start to stabilize around the 136s. Maybe we dip to 133s. And then we start to establish a range to start pushing right back up. Look, I don't know where the stock is going to go next 100% of the time. But what I do know is when the stock is trading, we know exactly what levels to watch out for. And those are the levels that I try to share with you guys. No one knows where the stock is going to go next. If someone tells you they do, they're probably lying. I've said this over and over again, right? We can take a guess. We took a guess that Apple was going to fall after earnings. That's what happened today. We said if it can clear 145, it would push towards 150. Didn't see that happening. We did see the sell the news. So again, hoping for a little bit of maybe, maybe it keeps falling just a little bit more, either to this 136 level or the 33 EMA, or excuse me, the, the EMA at 133, not the 33 EMA. And hopefully we see a good bounce there at the 21 EMA at 133, and we start to turn things around. As always, I'll keep you guys posted. Hope you guys are all having an amazing week and staying safe during everything that's going on with you know GameStop and AMC. Hopefully you guys are um, on, the, on, the, on the making money side of things and not getting stuck in trades that you can't get out of. Just be careful with that. Um, let me know down in the comment section how you guys are tra trading Apple and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.